guys, it's Connor and Jay with Ice Nine Kills here on Warp Tour 2016. Checking out our uh, rig here. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. Call it bandwagon. Dirty. Better than a van. Yeah. Has a shower. Bunks. It's cool. Yeah. We wash our nuts when we feel like it. <laughs> so this year we tried to do something cool. Uh, we're always trying to watch movies and stuff. So I brought um, a router and a hard drive that hooks up to the router and PlayStations and we can watch movies uh, that are all in, on our collection and TV shows and music and stream it all day long. It's, it's pretty cool. A lot better than dishing out uh, a cool movie out of the $5 bin at Walmart, you know. So it works out nicely for us. We can all hook up to it with our laptops. A lot of porn on there, which is cool. The movies are kind of just going uh, around the clock. I mean, except for right now, but there's always something. Wrong. I feel like we've watched Hostel 2 like three or four times in the last three weeks. I don't know why, but we always have horror movies playing, it seems like, at night. Yeah, Spencer likes to put on horror movies and walk away. Yeah, then he leaves. And then we end up just watching it because it's part of our, <laughs> it's part of our life. <laughs> so, standard, standard food dirty. supply, totally yeah. unorganized, meats. Yeah. Got a lot of coffee. It's a bunch of crap that sits around that nobody actually eats. It's broken, but clearly That's not cool. broken enough to be thrown away. And a lot of coffee. If anyone ever wants to bring us gifts, coffee is always good. Yes, coffee drinkers like me. Fridge is a uh, always standard, unorganized, stuffed. smelly beer. There's always leftovers. liquids in there, but they're never cold. Never um, cold. I don't think the fridge we, is actually on. We wake up and it's usually empty, and then it gets put or it gets restocked up the day, and it's never cold. Always sucks. Up in this guy, we got some uh, uh, unorganized form of snacks, food display. Munchies. That's our bass player's area, and it always leaks over into my minimal area. I ran out of cereal, so nothing cool in there. Got some and this hot is kind of just everyone else's area and plates and bowls. Coffee fixings, because uh, coffee is essential for the coffee drinkers. Myself and Morrow, our bassist, we drink yeah. probably the most coffee. Out of anyone else. He doesn't drink coffee. I drink water. Spencer drinks coffee occasionally. Uh, we do CeeLo or Threes. But we haven't played it that much on this this um, tour. Because nobody has any money. Yeah, we're too poor. We prefer Can Jam, which is a frisbee game. We'll show you that later. It's out in the trailer. That's pretty much what we spent most of our time doing. Oh, speaking of. Oh, hey. Don't mind me. I'm just, we're just talking, about, talking about Can Jam. Oh. <laughs> That's the real deal. That's pretty much all we care about is candy. Usually this is what we need at Walmart, but usually it just gets filled with, uh, you know, the essentials, bleach, gag balls. A lot of fetish toys. This yeah. is the creepy dude board. Yeah. yeah. Zap straps. Zap straps. It's actually it's not really Walmart needs. It's more uh, Spencer's needs. We learned that zap strap is the Canadian version of zip tie. This one kind of is important. It's got usually where we play, what time, what time we have to leave, anything important. Digital tour bus, shameless plug. It's, uh, that's pretty much it. I think most bands have that. Keeps us on track so we can connect to all our group texts. This is where we sleep. It's, uh, it's all right. Kind of like dog kennels for humans. Kind of sucks, but can be all right. The top is uh, apparently the worst, but usually we try to find people comfortably sleep in any position, with any <laughs> amount of motion, and they deal with it fine. Alex usually wakes up and throws up everywhere because he's Canadian. There's something about Canada, you know, motion sickness. Motion sickness in, in another country just kind of throws them off the filter. <laughs> They're cool. They got lights and fans and probably some other yeah. things. The funny thing about these fans is I take my cover off so I can uh, get more airflow. I think they just kind of pop off. And someone brought their baby on our bus a couple years ago, and they crawled in my bunk while I was gone, stuck their fingers in there. <laughs> uh, that baby's still alive. Here's the shitter. Somebody just flushed a bunch of stuff down the toilet, so we had to have our driver stick his arm up to shoot, clog it out, unclog it. Not supposed to shit. His arm is slowly starting to deteriorate because there's uh, some gross chemicals down there. More shoes, these kind of get worn, I think. Spencer's mirror. Every once in a while I find a slot to put my shoes, but usually it has everyone else's 
three pairs of shoes or so. Right now it's kind of empty because everyone's out. I never get a place for my shoes, it says. There's a shower and a sink, some nasty Q-tips and some towels that smell like moldy it's balls. Garbage. It's pretty gross. So this is a game that they like to play every night called Can Jam. I think it didn't start in Rochester. Rochester, Buffalo, New Yorkish. That's kind of where we're from. So they like to rep it. This is how we do it. Someone from the other side throws it at a much further distance. Connor does something like this. Swat it. Now you can get a certain amount of points and whoever gets the most points at a certain threshold wins. 21. You gotta slot it, that's game over. That happens, you know, you're in the good. dark too and they got like lights that turn on at night. Can Jam hooked us up. It's pretty cool. We got these LED ones. LEDs light up, little remotes and everything.